What up guys, Gridiron Plays here, and today, I mean, it's my first video, but if you couldn't see the title, we're doing a Carson Wentz Colts rebuild now. I'm not going to be drafting or signing any other quarterbacks. It's only going to be strictly Carson Wentz in this rebuild, and we're still going to have to do the trade, so um, I'm going to send to the offseason, and after I do that, I'm just going to put in the trade, I believe, yes, it was a second and a third round pick for Carson Wentz. I have to sign players back. Um, we're just hopping right into the action. I probably will sign Marlon Mack. Phillip Rivers is not coming back. T.Y. Hilton will not be coming back. Um, Malik Hooker will be coming back. He's just a good, young, talented player at safety. So, let's just offer him a good deal. All righty, good. We got him back. I'm not going to be signing Justin Houston. He's getting too old. Same thing with Trey Burton. We have Mo Alley Cox, so we are good. Zach Pascal, I will try to sign him back. Yeah. Hopefully he just takes this. Okay, never mind. Um. Mm. See, the thing about Mo Alley Cox is, I mean, he's 27. The year of regression is 28, so mm, he'll be a 76 star. Never mind. I won't sign him back. Um, I think that's all we're going to be signing back because we need Carson once. Um. Oh, wait, did I sign back Marlon Mack yet? Um, I have not. Marlon Mack's just a great all-around player. Good power, good speed. Okay, never mind. He does not want to come to our team. It's fine. We have Jonathan Taylor and Naheem Hines. So, let's go into off-season free agency week one, and hopefully we can do the trade. Now, I, I really hope they just, like, let us take uh, Carson Wentz, I can't speak today, my goodness, but hopefully they just give us Carson Wentz. I don't think that'll be the case, though. Maybe it will. You never know. Hopefully this works. And it does. Perfect. Already signing free agents. Um, Who do we need? Levante David would be good. Shaquille Griffin would be very serviceable. We can move Rockus into the slot. We do need wide receivers. As much as I don't want to take Will Fuller, I might have to. Um, what we could do is we could try to get Desmond. Nah, nah, let's not try to do that. Um, maybe we could get Galladay and move him to tight end. He's a big body like that. Um, I think we'll, we're fine with Willis. Joe Tooney. Now, this rebuild, we're going to have to build around Carson Wentz since he's such a low overall. So I'm going to try to get a better guard position. We're fine with Quentin Nelson, but hopefully we can get another guard for the other guard slots. And Hassan Reddick would be good, but I think we're fine with linebackers. Or we could move Hassan. No, nah, I don't think he'd fit very well at middle linebacker. Hmm. We do need a wide receiver, so I'm going to go after Juju. Good young receiver. Hopefully, he accepts our offer. So, nobody's bid on him. I could lowball him, but I'm not going to risk anything. So, week one of free agents. Joe Tooney always rejects my offers. I swear. I swear by it in this game. He always rejects my offers. And it's the most annoying thing ever. I want, I really want to kill. Um, but I got to look at the guard slot. Positions, guard slot. I have weird of that. So weird. Um, Duvernay, it's hard if he's 30, though. Uh, we're fine on Braden Smith. Who's my left tackle? Alex Tassanzo, he's a bit too old for me. So we're going to probably try to draft somebody. And I also need to import my local file. I'm also going to be scouting some wide receivers and some O linemen like Panay Sewell. Great O lineman. I think he's going to be very special. We're going to, the thing is, we're going to need an O lineman this draft. I think because Alex Asanzo, he, he's definitely going to go down. Trey Smith, I'm a big fan of, but he is lower in this game. Now, fifth year option, we will pick up Quentin Nelson's contract. Best guard in the league, in my opinion. He's an absolute animal. Great at run blocking, great at pass blocking, and protecting the quarterback. He will be a staple in this offense. Creed Humphrey does not look good. Um, Cade Mays is a monster. 
I'm a Tennessee fan. That's how I know. And, I mean, Panay Sewell looks like the real person. But we're not going to be able to get him with the picks we have. Big Cat Bryant, I don't know why he's in the draft because he is at Tennessee right now. He just transferred. So, he's really overrated in my opinion. I don't think he should be rated this high. Um, Now, defensive side of things, we need some D-linemen. That's the bottom line. And I think our best bet... I don't really know too many good D-linemen in this draft, honestly. So, we're just going to have to hope we can get a good late O-lineman. We're going to be scouting heavily in O-lineman. And Zion Johnson looks like a beast. We could pick him up in the third round. Um, but other than that, nobody really too appealing in the O-line. And I know I said I might pick that one dude at the fourth round, but we do not have a fourth round pick, so kind of, kind of tough. But hopefully at least one of the good O-linemen is still available. Anybody? Um, Deontay Brown's available, but I'd rather go after Zion. But Cade Mace is still available. I might pick him here. I probably will. Any good wide receivers available? Ooh, there are some, like, Rondell Moore, Amon Ross St. Brown. We could wait for them. I Actually, I don't think we can. Um, I'm not really high on Kadarius Tony. Don't really know how good he is, but the pick will be Cade Mays. Welcome to the team, 74 normal. I'm completely fine with that pick. He'll be a good... I, I, I'd i say I might move Quentin Nelson to left tackle, but I don't know. But he'll be a good player on our O-line. And a bit of time has gone by. We're at the fourth round, so I don't really know who we could pick. Nobody on our draft board because we didn't have much time to scout. Um, I mean, Rakeem Boyd could be, do, like, good, but Amon Ross St. Brown. I want him. Sage Surratt's also pretty good. I might have to pick Amon Ra. I might pick him. I might not. Um, any more alignment, that one dude is gone, so I can't pick him anymore. Any any corners that are good. Um, not really any that appeal to me. So let's pick Amon Ross St. Brown. On to the team. 69 normal. That'll be fine. He'll be my slot receiver. He'll go off. He'll be good. And I think for the rest of this draft, since we don't have many people, we're just going to trade away our picks. It just seems like the better option to do. We're going to get a fourth round next year. Alrighty, so I moved Cade Mace to right guard. I'm going to be starting him over Glowinski because I just think he has more potential. Glowinski is, I believe he's 30. Wait, how old is he? He's 29. So he's close to 30. He's going to start regressing. So I think bringing a young person in to kind of aid the O-line will help. Jack Doyle will be our starting tight end. I don't know if I like that. I'm going to move Amon Ross St. Brown to our slot position. And Michael Pittman's going to be the second starter. Um, this is kind of confusing me. Come on. There we go. That's how I like things. Jonathan Taylor, the beast, will be starting at running back. Name Hines will get some third down back time, though. And um, this just auto-picked him right there. Our middle linebacker position is looking awful. But other than that, mm, no, nah, I'm not going to say that. We still need to fix up some holes in the D-line. But we're going to sim to the midseason mark and see how we're doing. So by the midseason mark, we are 4-4. Four and four. We're at the top of our division, though. So, I mean, I guess that's good. Um, oh, I forgot to turn on auto-scouting. That's not good. But let's look at the stats so far. What is Carson Wentz looking like? Carson Wentz is not looking good at all. So I think next year we need to get him some better like receiving threats, especially at tight end. Jonathan Taylor, though, is looking fantastic for what he's doing. Amon Ross St. Brown is looking fantastic. So hopefully he can win maybe rookie of the year. I don't think so because all the quarterbacks in that draft class will probably be competing with him as well. Who's let up the most sacks? Quentin Nelson has let up the most sacks. Madden, you might need a bit of help. But... Kenny Moore doing nothing on our team. I don't know why I said his name. But Darius Leonard 
is doing phenomenally so far. Grover Stewart, but really the rest of the team is not doing anything. Interceptions, we have three by Marvell Tell, the third. I don't even know this dude, but he is popping off. Rocky Sin, two interceptions, and Malik Cooker, one. Any fumbles, we do have Rocky Sin with one fumble. Touchdowns, nobody. So, we're going to sim to the playoffs. After, after, I need to turn on. I really, really need to turn on auto scouting. Before I do anything else, I need to sign back Darius Leonard, Braden Smith, and I'm probably going to sign back Naeem Hines. And that's probably all I'm going to sign back, honestly. So let's do that, and then we will get to the playoffs and see if we even made it. So we have finished the season, but we went 8-8, eight and eight and we did not make the playoffs. So let's look at the stats. How did Carson do? Carson did... Carson actually turned things around. He did not have many yards, not many touchdowns. But he turned things around, definitely, and that's good to see. Jonathan Taylor, not many touchdowns, really spread out when it came to touchdowns. And Naheem Hines, I'm not signing him back. What an awful year Naheem Hines put up. And same with all of our backup running backs. Averaging nearly le averaging less than 3.7 yards to carry all of our running backs except for Jonathan Taylor. Awful. Jack Doyle stepping things up. Our receiving core didn't do much. I thought Amon Ross St. Brown would do more. Maybe he got injured. Um, who lit up the most sacks? Anthony Costanzo. Braden Smith. Of course, our Lions playing like trash. How did Darius Leonard do? He had... Okay, let me see. 13 sacks. That's good. Um, I mean, that's some pretty good production. I'm not going to lie. Um, who had the most picks? Rock Gisson had three, tied with Marvell Tell, Julian Blackman, two, and Malik Hucker, two. Um, how many forced fumbles did he have? DeForest Buckner had three forced fumbles. Great year by him. Well, apart, like, apart from the sacks. But, let's see, let's hope we get a good draft. We're probably, let me, let me see the team to see what we need. I think we might need a wide receiver or a tight end. Maybe Devontae Adams will be in free agency. I doubt it, though. We also need to upgrade our players. Quentin Nelson has two upgrade points. That's insane. Cade Mays has two. Paris Campbell has three. How much does Amon Ross St. Brown have? He has three. I don't know why it booted him out of that position. That's kind of annoying. But I think we need more to line like especially on the ends position. Our ends do not seem to look good at all. So I'm going to upgrade the players. And I will see you when we're signing for agents. I forgot the awards. Joe Burrow wins MVP. I said Burrow really weird. I said Burrow. Nick. This is a joke, isn't it? But Nick Mullins won. I believe. Wait, wait, wait. What team? I forgot what team we are on the AFC. Um, Darius Leonard got seventh. Offensive Rookie of the Year. Who was it? Zach Wilson um, in front of Trevor Lawrence. Um, nobody really, nobody from our team in the offensive part of things. What about defense? Derek Barnes, he placed eighth. Not bad. Best quarterback. I mean, I already know Wentz wasn't going to be there. I probably know Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor was tenth. That's fine with me. Um... Nobody from us, but Quint Nelson, despite letting up eight sacks, wins the best O-lineman. Perfect. Um, best D-lineman. I doubt anybody from our team's there. Exactly. Darius Leonard plays second. Maybe he can go up to Superstar X-Factor. Um, nobody from our team. Rodrigo Blankenship only plays ninth. But, wow, this is an interesting Super Bowl. Broncos versus the Packers. Um, but... Let's see which free agents are there. I'm really excited for the free agent class. We are not signing back Neem Heist after the 2.8 yards of carry he contributed to our team. But hopefully some good receivers will be in this class. But Jair Alexander is here. And that really makes me... Ooh, that's... Oh, and Anthony Costanzo, he retired. We could get Mitchell Schwartz or Trent Williams. Oh, 
That could be good. I know they're old. Okay. Never mind. We're getting Orlando Brown. I want him to last this whole rebuild. We're giving him three years. Screw it. Okay, so we're above the Colts by half the amount. Um, hopefully we get him. I'm going to go after Jair Alexander. We need that one type of player besides the Forest. This is a massive deal. And we are way ahead of the Giants. So hopefully we get him. Um, uh, oh, and wait a minute. DeForest Buckner went down. That's stupid. Um, Leighton Vander Esch. We could get Leighton Vander Esch. He's a good young talent. He's not asking for too much. Hopefully we can get him. We're a bit behind, so we're going to try to go after him. And then I I saw David and Joku down there. So, okay, we're going to have to keep giving him more. If he wants more, then this. Okay. This is getting tedious. Come on. Um. Hopefully, we can get him now. I hope that means we get him. David and Joku, we're definitely going to sign this dude. He's pretty good. And that will be it for my free agency. Hopefully, everybody signs with us. I doubt that, though, because life is not perfect. Accepted? Okay, Orlando. Oh, goodness. We're going to have to sign some more free agents. Who's here? Mitchell Schwartz is here. I'm going to go after him. One-year deal. Hopefully, we can win the chip this year so we don't have to... So we don't have to sign another left tackle in another free agency. So hopefully we can get it. Yes, we got Mitchell. Perfect. Alrighty. Um, we're going to move him over at the part he's needed the most. Um, what the heck is he doing there? We're moving him to left tackle. Alrighty, since I had auto draft on, I have not seen the draft class. So we are pick 16. So hopefully, hopefully we'll have a good draft i we do need d linemen we need edge rushers bad we don't need d tackles Shaq Givens though looks like a beast we don't need like any running backs though um mike hardison looks pretty good i don't think we need wide receivers too badly as crazy as it seems um i mean we don't need a lineman we have a stacked o-line but how does Matthew Colbert look? He's a mid-first round. We, we might pick him. Um, this dude's a mid-first round as well. Don't really like that at all. Anybody deeper in the draft class that we could get that looks like an absolute animal? Um, I mean, why did I look at him? Maybe we can get a D-tackle. Mm. Or we can get uh, a left outside linebacker or any linebacker that's an edge rusher. Kevin Sims, mid-first rounder, two. What about... Oh, wait, I did not mean to look at him. Um, Tori Milstead, he looks good. We do not... We do not need corners, but this dude looks like an absolute animal. <laughs> looks like a monster. So does that... Like, so do those dudes. Um... I think, oh, time's running out on me. I think I'm going to go either Matthew Colbert. See, I like speed rushers. This dude's a speed rusher, and he's kind of fast. So I'm going to pick Corey Weary. I don't expect him to be hidden. He's a normal. I'm completely fine with that, though. 83 speed, good power moves, good tackling, decent agility, good strength, good hit power for a D end. He's pretty good. He's going to start... And our next pick is, of course, the 16th pick. So, I think this next pick might be a D-tackle we can move to the edge. Or maybe, it, maybe it'll be a middle linebacker. Um, the next middle linebacker that looks decent is Warren O'Neal. And he looks like a monster. We're probably going to pick him this pick. He looks like an absolute beast. Um, I'm just going to look at these people's combine. This dude, Bias Combine, looks like a beast. This dude, too. Um, this dude's really fast, but too bad we don't need him. Um, oh, all the D-tackles are gone. <laughs> it's 
So, yeah, we are going to pick that one middle linebacker. Warren O'Neill looks like an absolute animal. 71 normal. I'm perfectly fine with that. 88 speed, 90 excel, 85 hit power, 81 strength. Good tackling, good pursuit. This dude's going to be our starter on our team. And I think with this next pick, I'm going to pick this dude. Uh, I, I think he'll be like maybe high 60s normal. So, let's see what he looks like. 70 hidden. Keenan Carmichael, 70 hidden. His coverage is absolute, it's absolute crap. Like, he cannot cover to save his life. He has good press, though. He has good press, but his speed is really the only thing he has and his jumping. But hidden, we can work with that. We can work with that. I'm going to sim to the end of the draft. I don't really see anybody else who I can pick. But um, let's, let's order our depth chart because we got some pretty good players from that draft. Alrighty, so our offense looks like fire. Our O-line is amazing. We have David Njoku. Um, I wanna, I'm going to slide Michael Pittman up there. I'm going to St. Brown. No, nah, I think I'm just going to put Paris Campbell there. But Carson Wentz, Jonathan Taylor. Now our defense, um, we're going to be starting him definitely. Weary, um, my goodness. <laughs> Weary, our new rookie. Now... I don't know where I want to play Carmichael. I think I'm going to play him at the slot. Though we do have Rocky Sin, so. Let's just play him at the slot. You know, I feel like he has more potential. So. I'll order that in the depth chart. And I'll see you at the midseason mark. And by the midseason mark. Or 3-5. and five, I'm giving Carson everything. But. It looks like it's not Carson's fault. How is Jonathan Taylor doing? Uh, 3.8 yards to carry. That's not my favorite thing. He needs to do better. Michael Pittman, though, having a phenomenal season. Juju, he's, he, I mean, he should be doing more, to be honest. Um, how's our blocking looking like? Um, we have, of course, Mitchell Schwartz. Does that bad? Um, how's our sacks looking like? DeForest Buckner is having a crazy season. Um, our rookie is not, though. Not doing too well. I might need to change up the scheme. But Jair Alexander, five picks. Kenny Moore, four picks. Carmichael, one pick. That's good. But my goodness, what's the problem with our team? Is it just the scheme? Because, like, we're destroying. But I'll see you at the playoffs. Hopefully we can make it. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta sign. I gotta sign my dudes first. Um, yeah, I'm going to sign back the majority of these people. Alrighty, so we finished the season 6-10. and 10. That is not good at all. Um, how did Carson do? 39 touchdowns, 15 picks, but 39 touchdowns. Jacob Eason, don't know why in the world he was playing. Oh, uh, Carson probably got injured for the 50th time in his career. Um, Jonathan Taylor... He needs a bit more yards, but, I mean, that's not up to him. Michael Pittman, great year. Juju, great year. David Njoku, phenomenal year. Good. I mean, I don't know what was holding us back. Our sack numbers, Mitchell Schwartz. My goodness. How did he do that bad? But let's look at our team sacks. Um, DeForest Buckner, good amount. Darius Leonard, could be more. But our rookie really did nothing. How many picks did we get? Jar Alexander had seven picks. That's amazing. Kenny Moore, good second option. Um, Carmichael didn't have as much, but he was in the slot, to be fair. Who had the most forced fumbles? Kenny Moore had one, and DeForest Buckner did as well. Really? I mean, eight offensive yards. What was our defense like? Our defense wasn't bad either. Like, I don't know what is holding us back. We don't have that bad of a, like, tough of a division. Um, actually, I'm going to wait to upgrade our players at Super Bowl week, and then I'll see the awards, but I really don't know what's going on with our team. Maybe I need to switch up the scheme or something, maybe for defense especially. Yearly awards, what was it like? Cam Newton always wins MVP. I mean, it's just always realistic. Um, I did not need to go there. Um, Carson went six. Um, Son Reddick won. That's good for him. Jair Alexander, fourth, somehow. Offensive Rookie of the Year. None of our players. Carmichael got third. 
and Warren O'Neill got 10th. Um, really, that's all. Best alignment does not go to Quentin Nelson for once, but the best defensive back is Jair Alexander, so that is clutch. And Bobby Okariki is going to free agency. I will not franchise tag him. He is wanting way too much. Um, wait, did anybody retire on our team? Hopefully, I really hope Mitchell Schwartz did not retire. Um, wait a minute. Um, I gotta go over to the Colts. Mitchell Schwartz retired. That's not good. Maybe there will be somebody in the agency. I hope. Maybe somebody even better in the draft. I doubt it, though. Anybody? Rodney Hudson, but he'll definitely retire the year after. Jonah Williams, though. I might have to go after Jonah Williams. Um, yep, Jonah Williams is the clear pick. Plus four morale. We're going to pay him big money. Oh, we have to pay him even bigger money now. Already, we are putting that salary up. We are paying Jonah Williams bank. I, if he doesn't come to us, I'm going to be mad. But, I mean, what can you do other than hope? Rashawn Gary would be a good signee, though he is a bit raw. So, oh, Bobby Okariki is leaving, so we might have to get Rashawn Gary. Yeah, I'm going to get Rashawn Gary. I saw Devin Bush down there. Hopefully, we can get him. So, nobody's offering him. Um, Devin Bush. I really want Devin Bush. Like, he's an absolute beast. We do not have the money, though. We're going to send to draft week. Oh, wait. I forgot. I forgot. I needed to see if we got anybody. Who did we get? Did we get anybody? And we did. We got Jonah Williams. That's a huge signing. Um, who did we get on the defense? We got nobody, but I just saw this, and Darius Leonard went up to an X factor. That That is so clutch. We could even move Darius Leonard down. We got Rashawn Gary. That's perfect. We got Rashawn. Let's move him to our right outside. Or, or we could even move him to left end. And that might be my move. Yeah, I'm going to move Rashawn Gary to left end. Alrighty, what pick do we have in the draft? I'm very interested to see. We need some linebackers, especially middle. But, I mean, I'll be fine with taking any type of linebackers. What, the, what it, I, man, I cannot speak. What is this draft class looking like? A lot of good quarterbacks. We're not going to pick them because we're going to stay true to this rebuild. Isaiah Monty looks like an absolute animal. Um, I mean, wide receiver, we're fine on. Tight end, fine on. O lineman, we're fine on. So, I mean, there's really not many people we need. But we do need a lineman. Or, not a lineman, man, I can't speak. Linebackers. Um, luckily, oh, this dude is the clear pick. Welcome to the team, Dante Bomber. 76, normal, I'm fine with it. He is an absolute animal. 91 speed, 88 pursuit, 89 excel, 87 tackle, 81 hit power. Absolute animal. Hopefully he can win rookie of the year for us. Um, next pick, I'm going to probably try to go after that one edge rusher or that left outside linebacker that was there. Maybe I'll move into right outside linebacker. Hopefully he's still there. I don't think he is, though. Yeah, he wasn't there, dang it. Um, But, Rashard Davis is an early first rounder. Welcome to the team. Wait a minute, before I say that, anybody else? Nope. Welcome to the team, Rashard Davis. Monster 75 hidden. Wow, this draft class is insane right now. 87 speed. Oh, that's amazing, um... Now, next pick, I think this is going to be the last pick before I sim to the end of the draft. Alrighty, so I think the player I'm going to pick is a wide receiver position. I'm probably going to pick Willie Parsons. I mean, we don't really have anybody else to pick, but a 70 normal, I'm completely fine with that. So I'm going to sim to the end of the draft, and I'm going to order out everything in the depth chart, and then we're going to sim to midseason mark. Alrighty, offensive line and... 
I did not draft this dude, but I guess we have a 62 hidden O lineman. I'm not going to start him, though. Uh, but the offense looks very, very solid. Um, <laughs> that's all I have to say about the offense. It's just that good. Um, I'm so excited for these two rookies. They're insane. Um, but other than that, wait, why is, why is Julian Blackman not? Okay. Anyways, but other than that, I think we're set. I feel like any year we could go to the playoffs, this could be the year. So I'm going to sim to the midseason mark and I'll see you there. And by week eight, we are four and four, like always. I don't know what is wrong with our team. Carson Wentz having a phenomenal year. Jonathan Taylor having an outstanding year. What is wrong with our team? Everybody is doing well. And still, I mean, Cade Mays let up six sacks, but everybody's doing well and still we can't do anything. Sacks, I mean, it's spread out decently. Our rookie has two and Warren O'Neill has one. How many picks do we have? Two, we don't have as many picks as I'd like, but we have a decent amount. Like, I don't know what is wrong with our team. We're four and four. Next year, I'm definitely changing up the scheme if we don't go to the playoffs. This is unbelievable how bad we're doing. Um, big injury decision. Who got injured? Jonah Williams. Okay. He got injured. So, it must be injuries or a bad scheme. But I'll sim to the playoffs. Hopefully, we make the playoffs. And, once again... We have not made the playoffs with a great team. Carson Wentz, 32 touchdowns, 7 picks. He's not doing bad. That's the thing. Jonathan Taylor, phenomenal. I don't know what's wrong with our team. Like, we're doing well. Sacks, Braden Smith let up 8, but we're not doing bad at all. Warren O'Neal, good year. He might win Rookie of the Year, most likely. Rashawn Gary, okay, we did not have many sacks at all. Disappointing. Um, Rashard Davis, two sacks. He can do better than that, though. Four picks for Kenny Moore. And, uh, wait a minute. Jair Alexander did not have a single interception. Disappointing. The only thing I can use or say to describe this rebuild is disappointing. I'm gonna upgrade the players. Oh, wait, I also have to see, um... What dev trait that one right outside linebacker is. Hopefully he's good. Let me see. Um, also, what's that O lineman, that 62 O lineman? Or 67 now. <laughs> Star. Um, Juju's in 90 right now. Um, Star. I mean, it's fine though. We have a really solid defense. I just don't know what's holding us back. Like, I'm definitely changing the scheme next year um also for the draft who do we need in the draft um let me send to the off season oh yeah we also need a sign back in players jonathan taylor is a definite sign back braden smith definite kenny moore definite Golian blackman most likely definite we have a lot of people we need to sign back starting with jonathan taylor and braden smith I'm going to make sure I get this. Let's go. We need Braden Smith bad on our team. So I'm going to offer him an insane deal. I'm going to keep going up. Alrighty. That's good. Kenny Moore's a beast. I want him back for at least two years. Actually, no. I'll, I'll stick with what he wants. One year. Alrighty. Good. Um, Julian Blackman. I'll try to sign him back. We're running really low on money. I guess we're going to have to get a free safety in the draft. Um, can we get Pittman? No, we can't. Um, I'm not going to franchise tag Pittman. I'm going to franchise tag Julian Blackman, though. He's just too good not to keep around. Um, and let's him to the draft. Alrighty, we're the 16th pick. Hopefully we can get a good, maybe a wide receiver. I think that's what we need. Um, there's some really good quarter, or there's one really good quarterback in the draft. Not going to pick him, though, because I can't. Wide receivers. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Mikel Hart might be the pick here. 
Killian Brown looks like an absolute animal. Jarvis Rogers, 431 speed. I'm not gonna pick him though. Um, BJ Nixon looks like an animal. Um, so there are only mid first rounders, no early first rounders. Um, anybody else who's insane, this dude looks like an absolute animal, but we don't need him. Um, who do we really like desperately need? There's some good players down the board here. Um, we don't really need, we don't need linebackers at all, but I just want to see what they look like. We're most likely going to pick that one 7.9 combine wide receiver. Um, don't need corners. Sorry, Darius Bastley looks like an absolute beast. There's some really good safeties here. But we will stick true to what we thought we would do. We're going to pick Markel Hart. Most likely normal. Six, 74 hidden. Wow, I am 86 spec catch. This dude's a beast. He most likely will play the slot his first year. Because we want him to get the most touches. Um, and I'll show you the draft recap. So I picked a backup running back. Taylor Booth. He's actually pretty solid. Good speed. Really, really good speed. Good juke move. But that's really it. And the rest I just auto-drafted. Um, hidden though. We have another hidden receiver. This is insane. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. I might even put him in the rotation too. But our team looks phenomenal. If we don't make it to the playoffs, I, I don't know what I don't know what to say if we don't make it to the playoffs. Hart will be our slot receiver. That is a definite. Um our team's really good. Um we do need an extra D tackle though. That's not good. But other than that, we're perfect. We're absolute perfectly fine. Um I'm going to try to get um, that one receiver in the slot. Actually, he's not going to play the slot. I'll make him play second receiver. So, I'll see you at midseason mark. Uh... Okay, so we started 5-2. and two. Um, Let's see our stats. I didn't change the playbook just yet. But Carson Wentz is not playing too well. Um, Jonathan Taylor is playing phenomenally though, so he's carrying us on our back, but Markel Hart doing very well rookie year. Um, where's our other rookie? Oh, he's not getting playing time, it's fine. Um, any sacks allowed? Eight by Jonah Williams, he's good, I don't think that would happen. Who has the most sacks on our team so far? DeForest Buckner, doing well. Corey Wary coming back. Rashawn Gary, doing pretty well. Um... Other than that, not really too much. Any interceptions. Three by Jair Alexander. Um, Kenny Moore and Julian Blackman have one. So we're doing well. Hopefully we can keep this up and get to the playoffs. Alrighty. We have made the playoffs at 10 and 6. Now what are our stats? Carson Wentz looks like he had a good year. And he did. Jonathan Taylor, phenomenal year. Really took a huge leap up. And C.J. Powell, I have never even heard of this dude. He jumps up and he's doing well now. Markel Hart took a bit of a dip in production, but that's completely fine. He's star dev, but five upgrade points, that is very good. Defense. Um, now, I just skipped right down here. I just saw this 16 sacks by DeForest Buckner. Warren O'Neal getting a lot of tackles. Um, but DeForest Buckner, 16, 6.5 by Corey Wary, not bad. Rashawn Gary, 6.5 as well. Darius Leonard, kind of taking a step back. Reggie Preston, he's a rookie. I haven't even looked at him. Um, normal. David Allen, two sacks. Um, that's really all I have to say. But what about interceptions? Jair, four. Isaiah Rogers, haven't seen him much, three. So, good year for us, and we made the wild card. I'm going to upgrade our players before the wild card, maybe give them a bit of a boost. So, and I want to see what overall our team is. So, we started as an 87 or an 88 all around. Hopefully, we can beat the Broncos. 
And we do. We beat the Broncos. I stopped upgrade players, though. Um, Corey Wary is now an 80 overall. We are facing the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm going to sim. I'm not going to jump in just yet because... Wait, what year is this? I'll, I'll check later, but... Um, we lose to the Chiefs. Kind of sad, but we did pretty decently. So, I'll see you at the draft. Alrighty. Weekly, or... Weekly. Alrighty. Yearly awards and anybody from our team. Carson Wentz is 10. And this is the fourth year, so we have one more year to get to the Super Bowl. Or else we failed this challenge. But, you know, I feel like next year is going to be the year. Um, Mikel Hart plays second. He was so close to getting it. But, close but no cigar. Maybe he gets an upgrade. I don't know. Hopefully he does. Um, nobody for defense. And Jonathan Taylor becomes the number one running back. Hopefully he gets X-Factor. Um, I have to upgrade my players, though. And let's see. Were there any changes in dev trait? Hopefully there were. Um, did Carson Wentz go up? I'd be surprised if he did. He did not, but Jonathan Taylor is an X-Factor, and this O-line is insane. So, I'm really excited for that. I feel like we got this next year. Um, Wary jumped up to a star. That's very good. And so did Gary. And where did that dude go? Okay, I don't know where he went. It's fine. But this is looking like an absolute beast of a team so i hope it's i hope next year we can do this i'm gonna look if i can sign anybody in free agency don't really know if i can get maybe i can get a really good d tackle but we also have to sign back our players i cannot forget about that into force buckner is a big one juju's a big one kenny moore is gonna start to regress julian blackman's a big one ryan kelly is a big one we have a lot of big players to sign back especially carson wentz and we need to sign him back we're signing him back for one more year. I appreciate it, but he's going to free agency. I don't think you are. We need to finish this rebuild with you. So we're going to try to sign back every player we can. So hopefully we can get DeForest for one more year for our five-year rebuild. We need Juju back because he's our main source of offense. Well, other than the quarterback and Jonathan Taylor. Um, we do need our alignment, though. Ryan Kelly and Cade Mays are the most important signees. We do not have that much money, though. And he is going to free agency. That's not good. I really want Cade Mays, though. Alrighty, that's good. We got him. Julian Blackman will try to bring back. Alrighty, we got Julian Blackman. Can we get Kenny Moore? Please tell me we can. Oh, we do not have money at all. He's probably not going to sign with us. And he does not. It's fine, though. Hopefully we can get another alignment in the draft and a uh, free safety. How much room do we have? We only have 5 million cap room. If I lowball somebody, I could get them. D Hop is in here. He could be a good player we could get, but I would like to get Aaron Donald. We just do not have the money for any of these stars. David Bektari. I really want one of these players. Jalen Mayfield, though. Nobody's offered him anything. We could lowball him. Anybody else? Uh, nobody. Wait. Oh, wait. Yeah. People have offered Brian Kelly something. Um, nobody's offered Cody Whitehair something. Josh Myers looks good, but. Anybody that has not been offered. I think I'll just look for people in the draft. Um, we need another D-tackle. Um, I could get that in the draft, I guess. Um, but, yeah. Let's go to our final draft of this rebuild. Picking. Alrighty, we are picked 27, so, I mean, it'd be interesting to see what we could pick at this position. Hopefully another alignment, maybe a center. Um, from the looks of things, though, it does not like 
look like. Never mind. Shouldn't have spoke too soon. No, Harris would be a good pick. Let me look at my other choices, though. Oscar Jenkins looks good. We could wait for a better D tackle, um, as there are some later down in the draft. Um, wait a minute. It looks like that one center is going to be my pick. Desmond Hills looks very solid, but I'm going to pick that one center because he looks like an animal. Welcome to the team, Noah Harris, 72. That's a bit low. I thought he'd be better than that. I mean, it's the last year, so we're going to have to use him. We're going to have to use everything we can to get the wins. And there's a wide receiver all the way down here. Deontay McLeod, he's pretty fast. Lonnie Guy is very fast. There's another first-round dude down here. Greg Mays looks like a beast. Um, is there an early first-rounder? Mid-first-rounder? This is an early first-rounder. Now, he is a fourth-round talent. We have a third-round pick. We might be able to pick him. So, D tackle. Welcome to the team, Devin. I don't know how to say your name, but you are a hidden player, and that is all that matters. So, hopefully, we can get that other receiver, and he'll definitely play a slot if we get that other receiver. And then we'll send him to the end of the draft and to the midseason mark for a bleh, for our final season. Man, I can't speak today for our final season of this rebuild. And. Uh, Oh, that dude was picked. Oh, that early first rounder dude was picked. That hurts a lot. But we still have a mid first rounder, dude. Here, and welcome to the team, Lonnie Guy. 73, and he is a hidden. That is perfectly fine. Great catching, especially in traffic and spec catch. Very fast, too. This dude is our slot, dude. Alrighty. This season is the only season that matters now because we need to win this championship. We have a good team around us. Let's make Guy our... Man, I can't... Man, I'm getting slow speaking today. Our O-line looks a bit down, though. So, let's try to put Lawrence Guy as our slot, and he already is. Rushing right end is definitely Leonard. Buckner, Harris, that's good. Um, that's very good for me. Defense. How does our defense look? We're going to put Tinger up there. This team should win a championship. Or should it not win a championship. Should at least make it to the playoffs. So we're going to send to the midseason mark. Wish me luck. And in the midseason mark we are. 6-2 and two, top of the division. So far has been a good start. And Carson Wentz is playing phenomenally. Same for Jonathan Taylor though. No touchdowns. That's kind of weird. Juju playing good. David Njoku playing good. Markel Hart doing good. And, of course, our slot receiver, Lonnie Guy, doing well. Um, who's let up the most snacks? Snacks. Sacks. Jonah Williams. Who has the most sacks on our team? Darius Leonard, 5. DeForest Buckner, 5. So, we're doing solid. We just need to keep up this pace and get to the playoffs. Hopefully, we can get a first round by, though. But I doubt it with a 6-2 and two record. But wish me luck again. Alrighty, we are in the wild card. So we are facing against the Bills, which is going to be tough. But I'm going to look at our stats. Hopefully, we did well. Carson, great season by him. Jonathan Taylor, good season despite the low touchdown numbers. David and Joku, phenomenal season. Lonnie Guy, outstanding season. Juju, great season as well. Um, let's see. Darius Leonard, 14 sacks. We were a really solid team. And hopefully my team can take it in the sim and the wild card playoff. Please make it to the next round. Will they? And they do not. But, you know, it was a fun rebuild. It was a very, very fun rebuild to have Carson Wentz. And, you know, this is... This is Fun challenges to do, and I'm going to make this a tradition, Franchise Friday, so, hey, 
Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and even comment in the comment section down below. This is Gridiron Plays signing out. See ya.